Well, I hope this is working. <laughs> well, welcome to Geek Therapy, or uh, what do you mean? It's not Geek Therapy. What is this? What is <laughs> Epically it? Geeky. The Epically Geeky Show, and uh, this is your co-host, the co-pilot, who's taking over because the pilot has turned to jelly. <laughs> <laughs> Eugene is not no longer with us. <laughs> <laughs> Makes it sound like he's dead. We, we, it would have been horrible if we would have played it up like, well, they're... Uh, it's a somber day. <laughs> yeah, today's a sad day. <laughs> Yesterday was so awesome with Star Wars. And, and then to think that it would happen like this. <laughs> Under his own sadness that Jar Jar was not in this one. He, he took his own life. <laughs> <laughs> he would have wanted us to go on. I know because he told me. <laughs> <laughs> it was his last words. Do the show. And then he dies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be... <laughs> I have spreadsheets. <laughs> we we get an email during the middle of the week and you got this email. I'm dead. <laughs> he appears to me like fucking Obi Wan. <laughs> Sorry. Well, oh, damn it. <laughs> Your audio didn't encode properly last week. <laughs> <Dang it. laughs> the ghost of Eugene passed. <laughs> You derailed the show. It's all your your entire show was off topic. <laughs> you said you would have a topic, and you lied. <laughs> and then you know that's like that's just like the peaceful ghost. Whenever he gets angry, it turns into poltergeist. Oh, <laughs> it's like paranormal activity. Oh my god! I was imagining that old man from Poltergeist too. You know, that, the old <laughs> that creepy old guy. Yeah. <laughs> that's gonna that's gonna be Rudy walking around the neighborhood chanting that, <laughs> singing oh the old song. <laughs> Rudy, <laughs> the death Eugene took you know hit him pretty hard. And he just wanders around now and he sings. I don't even know. He's, he wasn't even religious before. <laughs> Okay, so anyway, welcome to the Epically Geeky Show, show number three. Uh, once in a while, I will take the reins whenever everything falls apart. <laughs> <laughs> Eugene will be back. Everybody else will be back. This is just one of those oddball shows, and you get to enjoy it this way. So, yay. Um, we're going to just kind of randomly jump around a little bit on this show. It's not going to be a long show. It's uh, Oh, let me introduce everybody that's on the show right now. And that would be, of course, Jay, who is here constantly, who is our our rock against uh, in the storm and, uh, you know, the, uh, <laughs> the, the anchor by, that which we use to hold the ship. Down. In one place. <laughs> I'm trying to think In of one place. Uh, uh, <laughs> metaphor. I, I kind of <laughs> Jay anchor, is anchor. Type stuff. Jay is the anchor that keeps us from moving forward. What? No, that's not right. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's Manon, the ghost of Christmas past, who has returned once again to haunt us with his intellectualisms. <laughs> once About. every seven years. <laughs> yes. Anyway, so Manon is here, Jay's here, and of course I'm Cy, and I'm here to try to get through this. So let's see what we can <laughs> screw up this time. Um, Everything. <laughs> all we're going to do is we're going to take a look at movies that are coming out in 2016. The, the new year is upon us. We had a pretty decent year of movies, I think. It ended with a bang, that's for sure. But there's a bunch of big ones coming out, and rather than go through all these movies and just do like your typical like, hey, what do you think of this movie? What do you think of that movie? I'm gonna ask you questions that are movie based, and we'll we'll have a little back and forth about what we think about that kind of stuff. So <clears throat> let's uh, just go down the list. I'm gonna start with the Hateful Eight. Hateful Eight comes out January first. Believe that? January first. New Year's Day. 
Uh, this, of course, is the new Quentin Tarantino movie set in the West and almost didn't happen because of a bunch of bull crap where they leaked the script and all this kind of stuff. But um, So uh, <clears throat> if you had to pick, I'm not going to ask you to name eight, but if you had to pick one celebrity that you hate the most, who would it be? Jay, you're first. Oh, damn. Are we just talking uh, movie actors since it's a movie based? Any, any, it doesn't matter. Celebrity. We'll just go with celebrity. Uh, Justin Bieber. Oh, and why is that? <laughs> uh, well, besides his music sucking and him just being an annoying little prick. You know, oh, I, have, have you ever seen those pictures where they like they take a section of his face and compare it to Miley Cyrus's face, and they're like identical, like. Yeah, that, that's that's that is, a little weird. <laughs> but yeah, no, you know, I I hate his music. It's just not my taste. And although I, although a porn, no, never mind. I was just <laughs> I was Miley, just like, Cyrus Miley Cyrus and, Cyrus and Justin oh, Bieber. Porn. Yeah. It would oh. be like a uh, it would be like some kind of a, a singularity that would form and <laughs> since he looks so much alike, would it be at the end of a. Uh, <laughs> when Jean Claude Van Damme movie Time Cop, when they touch each other and kind of j- congeal together, <laughs> they become what? one entity. Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, like, oh, you know what? It would be horrible. Same matter like, can't occupy the same space. <laughs> <laughs> you have like strobe lights, and you get confused about who you're looking at, and like the camera gets too close, and you think you're looking at, and you can't ever quite figure out. <laughs> <laughs> but wait a minute. Let's think what? about the What's other implication where? of that. If if this theory holds true, that means that one of them is actually the future version of the other, gone wow. back in time. Okay, I'm following you for. Uh, let me let me try here. Once, if, oh, oh, okay, all right. Or what if it just turns out to be like at the end not. of uh, the Fly Two? <laughs> <laughs> when it just comes out like one big it <laughs> comes out falls <laughs> man that was sad though the fly too when that dog uh, got mixed up with the, um, the it turned inside out or whatever and yeah. It, yeah. it made me mad I still remember that all these years later it pissed me off sons of bitches you killed the dog <sighs> alright yeah. I was really hoping that Ronda Rousey would hold true to her words and beat the shell of Justin Bieber. It might happen yet. I mean, she's still around. It's not like she died. She just lost the fight. You know, it's not like there's no more Ronda Rousey. Like, I oh, know, uh, no. but I was hoping she's gone. Like, I was just hoping it'd be more of a in, instantaneous thing. Just she kind of snaps and go all Hulk and fucking start slamming him into the ground. <laughs> Ronda <laughs> smash. <laughs> Yeah, maybe, maybe. Okay, we'll move on to the next movie. Uh, I don't know if y'all are familiar with this, but uh, there's a Sherlock Holmes movie, I guess, coming out called The Abominable Bride, uh, starring that dude, uh, Benedict Cumber Snatch or whatever. Oh, what's that movie? The con, you know, right? Uh, <laughs> Benedict Cumberbatch, Cumberback, something. Uh, have y'all seen any previews for that? I have not. Is this based on uh, the show? I Sherlock? don't. I guess it looks like it. He's look. He's got the top hat, and uh, there's Watson with the mustache. So uh, well, okay. that doesn't sound like the show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So, oh, there's a show that's like not old time Sherlock Holmes. No, the you the know, show you know is very much a modern version of Sherlock. This is really not relevant for my question, okay? Um, well, he plays Sherlock in the show. Okay. So it's kind of relevant. All right. Anyway, um, my question is, man, and who is the best person to ever play Sherlock Holmes? Uh... Honestly, I can't remember all the people who've played Sherlock Holmes, so I'm probably not the best person to ask. Okay, well, let's think of some people, okay? Uh, we know, like, uh, Michael Caine, I think, played him in that movie that was like a comedy where he was stupid, and uh, <laughs> and Ben Kingsley was, was Watson, and Watson was the smart one. You remember that? What was that? Uh, Without a Clue? I remember that. A, that was yeah. Um, 
then there was Robert Downey Jr. who played Sherlock in the um, more recent Sherlock Holmes movies. Yes, which is, of course, very good. And there's all them British people from all them other versions of <laughs> Sherlock Holmes. Uh, it's kind of an easy question, I think, if you really want to. I mean, for I, well, he, I mean, of the people that you know of. Well, there's also Benedict Cumberbatch in Sherlock. That counts. We'll count that. Now, for me, that's pretty tough because that show is actually pretty freaking good. So would you say he's better than Robert Downey Jr.? It's a very different show, though. No, you got to say better or worse. Got to say better or worse. I'm, I'm drawing uh, a line, line in the sand. If, it, if you're going to put me on the spot, I'm going to call better uh, Sherlock. Ooh. The show is really good. Really? Of course, it's also a very different take on Sherlock. So you don't like Robert Downey Jr., then? Oh, no, I like Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, you put me on the spot, i got to pick something. No, one of them goes in the fire. You threw Robert, Robert Downey Jr. in the fire. So, <laughs> Benedict Cum, Cumber... Whatever his name is. Bener, Bener, Benedict Cumberbatch. Something. Cumberbatch. Cumberbatch. I keep wanting to say Nickelback for some reason. No. <laughs> anyway, he wins. He, he survives. <laughs> And we have lost forever. All right, so we're actually we're not just throwing the show out. We're actually like tossing out the actor. Well, I didn't tell you like everything. Not the I didn't tell you everything. <laughs> that was Dude. a secret. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta live with your choice, man. And you're the one that made the choice. And you killed Robert Downey Jr. Now we get. No, we got, no, no, there's no. gonna be all these like things on TV now, you know. Remembering Robert Downey Jr., the early years, you know, and voiced Work. by, by <laughs> you know. Now, keep in mind, that was strictly for Sherlock. No. No, <laughs> I only chose that for Sherlock. Now it's, now it's a whole different thing. Now it's Benedict Cumberbatch versus Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> Is it, because really the only thing I've seen Benedict Cumberbatch that I and that I liked was Sherlock. Well, okay, I'll tell I you mean, what. He, he he was con, but I didn't. Oh well, I man, and not everybody seen like that. Not everybody's <laughs> seen all these movies, man. And you you need to not spoil things for people that haven't seen things. But anyway, anyway, a spoiler. Uh, certain people may not have seen that movie yet, even now. Certain people uh, who, who are not here on this show with us right now who are going to listen to this. How are they? <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> Eugene has not seen that movie yet. What movie? Anyway, never mind. Moving on. <laughs> Moving on. So, since we're talking about Robert Downey Jr., I'm just going to skip ahead. Although I think they may have mentioned that in the trailers by now. How would you not know? It's been everywhere. But anyway, you're right. Anyway, moving on. Uh, so, speaking of Robert Downey Jr., we got the new Iron Man, uh, Captain America, what? Battle Royale. Huh? And Civil Go War? Uh, yeah. Civil uh, War. The Avengers Civil War, or is it called just Civil War? Captain America, America Civil, Civil, America War. Civil War. Oh, it's called Captain America Civil War? Yes, yeah. keep shit straight. Why is that? Well, Damn. it's not the Avengers. It's the only... Uh, it's got from. Captain America and it's got Iron Man, but it doesn't have the Hulk, it doesn't have Thor. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, okay, Jay. So... Yes. You get the question first. Team Cap'n, Cap, or whatever. Cap'n? Capitone? Or, or Team Stark? Uh, I'm going with Captain. Really? Why? Uh, I don't know. Too much government oversight. I mean, they like to stick their nose in everything and hardly ever get it right, so... Yeah, but that Bucky guy, man, he was, uh, you know, uh, bad news. You know, I mean... Uh, it's all, it all mind control, man. It's <laughs> yeah. So you're 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 uh, you're on the you're on the Captain America's team on this. Yeah. Well, okay. What about you, man? That's. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what they're trying to do. Um, 
Well, they're fighting each other, so... I know that, but <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what their exact arguments are, are over. I know <laughs> from the comics that there was a whole thing where they were trying to register people with superpowers and all that. Um, I don't know. Are they trying to kill Bucky? Or are they trying to arrest him? They're, exactly they basically, their... from what I, I can don't... gather from the trailer and watching some things that broke down the trailer, uh, they want to kill Bucky and then force all of everybody else with special powers to register him like you would a weapon. And basically, they do nothing. They don't use their power or do anything like that until called upon by, like, I guess through the United Nations. Wow, that's, you know, that's pretty good. And uh. They even nailed it, I think. So, he knows more than you do, actually. It's pretty oh, impressive. Yeah. Why are you on this show? Quite good. <laughs> because you invited me. <laughs> I thought he was talking to me, because I'm asked that basically every week. <laughs> Why are you on the show? <laughs> Are we sure about this? <laughs> no. Okay. Well, personally, Are you sure I'm on the show. I, I'm keen. I'm team. Uh, I'm not even sure we're recording this show right now. We'll find out later. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, so I'm team uh, Stark. The reason I'm team Stark is because. Yeah, I don't know everything. Yeah, I don't know everything. That's all the factors of everything. That's true. But, uh, you know, the point that that is that is brought up in the trailer, at least, is, hey, we're not above the law. We have to be accountable just like anybody else. And that seems to be where he's coming from, saying, hey, there needs to be regulations on us. We can't just go about – people need to feel safe, and they need to feel like we're – with you know, we're – we're part of the system, not that we're, we're just like these, you know, vigilantes. So, I, I understand where he's coming from on that. So. Yeah. Oh, and in that regard, I am kind of on Team Stark. Um, but I think they take it too far. Well, it's no. like it's like the modern debate about gun control, right? Yeah. Some some people think that it's up to everybody to defend themselves, and we should just arm the crap out of ourselves everywhere we go, and just be ready at a moment's notice to blast and get in a firefight. And then, you know, if the cops happen to show up, then you know we'll like, hey, you know, glad y'all finally made it, <laughs> and you know, like. Uh, they they'll know that we're the good guys, right? But anyway, but they'll just know. They'll just know. And so like there's this idea of like everybody everybody for themselves and that you know, the government sucks, they can't do anything right. We should be able to take care of ourselves and we have to take care of ourselves and why even have a government? Which is actually I mean I kind of think that's the point of that whole thing anyway, right? Like it seems like if you if everybody was armed and everybody was taking care of themselves, why would you have police, right? You know, I mean, you might as well not. Might as well just let everybody do it. And then it's whatever laws everybody decides. And then it's the old West. Right? Maybe I'm going too far with this. <laughs> Now, don't get me wrong. It sounds really awesome and fun to be able to walk around with, you know, machine guns and bombs and and flamethrowers and stuff, and you know, just like walk into uh, a mall and be like, anybody comes near me and they're getting the Gatling gun, you know. But it doesn't sound like a very safe world, does it? I guess it's safe for whoever has the biggest gun. <laughs> anyway. Maybe. This is a downer. This isn't what we're supposed to be Next talking Next topic. About. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's being accomplished from this. Where's okay. the fun? <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm just going to move on and randomly pick another movie. Who did I ask the last? I asked Manon last, right? No, me. Oh, I asked you last. Okay. Well, in March, uh, we get Pee-wee's Big Holiday. 
Pee Wee will be bringing out a new movie after all these years. Paul Rubens finally bringing out a new Pee Wee movie. Uh, don't really know what to expect yet because I haven't seen any trailers or anything, but uh, I can imagine, you know, just from the last the last movies that he had made, it's probably going to be a lot of fun and pretty cool. So, Manon, um, is there is there like a uh, um, like it, let me just let me, let's say it like this: How much of the Pee Wee movies, or at least the first Pee Wee movie, do you remember? Um, I don't remember enough to, like, quote it verbatim, but it's all familiar to me. It was pretty funny, fun. right? I liked it. I enjoyed it. Well, do you think he deserves to have a new movie come out, or do you think that uh, we should move on and he should probably not, you know, we should probably not go down this route? What do you think about Pee Wee? Personally, I'm actually excited. I'm looking forward to it. I think it'll be a lot of fun. I mean, what exactly did he do that was, you know, so terrible we should write him off as a human being? Hey, Jerk off in a movie theater. Yeah, he did Jerk off in a movie theater. But that was what they were doing in there, right? That's yeah, that was the whole purpose yeah. of that movie theater. <laughs> that's that's uh, not like he did it in a church. Right. It's not like he was in there when they were playing, like, you know, The Lion King or something, right? <laughs> <laughs> Simba. <laughs> Whenever Simba and Did Nala are getting head? on. The circle of love is... Oh. <laughs> Pinja. <laughs> oh, Pinja. <laughs> this is uh, not... Pinja again. Hakuna Matata. All right. Can't so. wait for you to be king either. <laughs> Yeah, all right. I'm dead. All right. It's a buttery. Okay, so, Jay, you get an easier one. Um, in Also, in March, believe it or not, March the 25th, is this right? Better make sure. Fuck if I know. I don't know what you're talking about yet. March the 25th, Batman versus Superman. Ooh. Now, here's the question. Everybody's going to have a, a lot to say, and we're not going to base this on the comic book. We're not going to base this on the movie. We're just going to base this on like what you know about these two superheroes. And the question is, who's smarter, Batman or Superman? That's the question. Hmm, just going off of... The question seems to always be like who's stronger. I'm throwing that out. Who cares? That's going to be settled on the end. I'm saying intellectually, Batman. You think Batman's smarter than Superman? Yeah, I mean because Superman's he, pretty smart though. Yeah, but he can rely on a lot of other things like his brawn, his brawn, his you know all the powers that come from being Kryptonian and remember. Like that. Remember in Superman 2 when he tricked everybody and he had them on the outside and he was on the inside and it took away... Yeah, the... and when he tricked everybody by doing his hair different and putting on glasses. <laughs> it was fucking amazing. That's true. That's true. Either that's like the best costume ever or everybody there is fucking retarded. But... That is a good point. Like, I mean, this is kind of like the old, like... You know, everybody's always said, like, well, that's the stupidest disguise in the world. That's impossible. You know, it's ridiculous. Why would anybody believe that, you know, I mean, that's, right? That's what everybody's always said for all these years. But, I mean, in a serious list, like, being serious for a second, though, what the hell is up Maybe with that? Too. Like, whenever they were making the comic book and they're like, they came up with that, I mean, how did, like, it, how did it not get brought up? Hey, that's Just, pretty fucking stupid. <laughs> right, right. He puts right, on like, a pair of sunglasses. He's cool. Yeah, like, we're really going to do this? <laughs> you know, like, like, what did they do? Just, like, run out of time? Like, they had, like, a deadline? And it was like, so what's his disguise? And they're like, look, we can't decide, all right? Some people... <laughs> his alter ego, what's he going to look like so that no one can tell it's him? Oh, shit. Fucking we, geek glasses. Look, there's two there's two teams. The office is split. 
half of them say he should have a fake beard and you know uh, <laughs> fake beard. <laughs> the other, more effective. Yeah, the other half says he should be a clown and 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 wear clown makeup and and you know and and then finally he's just like, "You know what? Screw both of y'all. He's wearing glasses." The end. Like <laughs> Had to be something like that. I don't know. Anyway, but I'm going with Batman. He had to design all of his own gadgets and yeah. shit like that, and come up with that. And you know, he is. He was always kind of a detective type. Yeah, I think you're coming right. Back in the day, so you know, it took a lot of intellect to do the shit. I think you're right. I think Batman is the more cerebral of the two. I mean, that's good and bad though, because. You know, Batman dwells on shit. He's very, like, broody and, like, you know. Yeah, and there was the one, um, oh, god damn it, I can't remember. Uh, what was it? Uh, was it Doomsday? Not the villain Doomsday, but the comic movie where um, he actually uh, has a database of all the people in the Justice League and what their weaknesses are and how he would defeat them and it gets stolen. <laughs> Yeah, he has a, a whole backup plan to take out the entire Justice League in case they go bad. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, he's smart enough to figure out how he can defeat all these otherworldly beings. But not smart enough to put on a password on his yeah. Wi-Fi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn it, I left the Wi-Fi open. Oh, man, I could have been encrypted stupid. with my fingerprint or a passcode like a fucking <laughs> iPhone, but... Bruce, you're a fucking moron. <laughs> Watch your password, bats. <laughs> <laughs> man, bat. <laughs> okay, Manon. Oh, oh I, did I ask Manon last? Uh, you didn't ask well, me. Well, you, you didn't no. let him answer whether he thought Batman or Superman was smarter. Well, I think we settled it. I don't think we need to get Manon. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I'm just going to agree anyway. I, Batman is the strategist of the Justice League, so right. I think he is definitely smarter than Soups. Sorry, Soups. Yeah. I got you. Okay. Well, man. Also, also consider, I mean, how many times did Superman just, you know, Lex Luthor sets a trap, Superman walks into it, that, you know, just completely se secure that, oh, I'm totally fine. I'm Superman. Right. And that's, falls for it. That's a good point. That's a good like, point. Literally every time Lex Luthor sets a trap. <laughs> and you would think, you know, he does have x-ray vision. He could see through fucking walls. Oh, look, he's hiding something on the other side. Yeah, there's a lead box. I probably shouldn't yeah. go in here. <laughs> yeah. There's a lead box. I don't know what's in it, but I, nah. I can't see through it. I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> Other than he, a little he green. He knows that I can't see through lead, but I'm sure it, it's nothing. Other than the green glowing rock, lead is my only downfall. I'm going to go in there. Okay. All right, man. So this one's for you. Um, and then you can chime in also, Jay. So... Of course, we all know that we're going to get a new Independence Day, the Independence Day Resurgence, the sequel, after 20 years. So, man, and if we're invaded by aliens, and it doesn't necessarily need to be the aliens from this movie, but let's just say, like, hypothetically, if we were invaded by aliens, do you think you'd have a chance? Uh, probably not. <laughs> let's be realistic here. Well, I mean... Uh, what would you do to try to survive? Uh, surrender and cooperate. I don't know. <laughs> Somehow I don't expect like to Rambo it up. <laughs> <laughs> you want to survive war? You got to become war. Like, what the fuck are you doing, man? <laughs> you don't even have a gun. Now, Jay, I bet you're. You probably have a different answer. Um. Yeah, because I'm. I would want to fight back. <laughs> I didn't now, say I wouldn't want to, but he asked me how I would survive. I think I could survive. Uh, sure. Pretty well, can. pretty well for a while. Well, let's define the aliens then. Let, let's. They're not as powerful as the ones like in Independence Day. Suppose they're like. Uh, 
Oh, Mars Attacks. Cute. Yeah, Mars Attacks. <laughs> like those aliens. You know, dumbass. Arguably aliens. worse, but <laughs> stupider. Psychopaths with the, yeah. you know, with technology. But see, you can you could actually shoot them and kill them in the movie, or you could just play the really loud sounds. Oh yeah, that's true. So I mean, you could actually. You know, with small arms fire, kill them. You had a lot better chance of defending yourself against one. All you would have to do to survive, Manon, is put headphones on them and then be <laughs> playing a game and scream real loud, and that would be the end of that. That's how it works. Yeah. Either that or, you know, just sit in your living room with the TV up real loud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm good. <laughs> I'm invincible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway. I don't know. I mean... Could work. Yeah. Get Yoko Ono's album, play it up really loud, and that's that's her kryptonite. Wow. I want. Oh, I was gonna say something, but it's wrong. I don't want to say it. No, say it. Say it. Say uh, it. You think? Uh, so you think somebody else killed John, or you think he? <laughs> <laughs> he's like. He's like. Yeah. He paid someone to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it oh. out of Oh my god! That's god. <laughs> Will you I, just fucking shoot me on the street? <laughs> I can't get out of it, mate. <laughs> she just sits there in the bathroom singing. Oh, my God. <laughs> She's bringing out a new album. Shoot me. Please, God, <laughs> shoot me. <laughs> Too much of a pussy to do it myself. <laughs> At the funeral, Paul's like, he's finally at peace. <laughs> <laughs> of course, Ringo's dumbass is like, I don't know. I don't know what happened? Anyway. All right. So, um, Jeez. moving right along. <laughs> There's a lot of superhero movies coming out. You know, Su- Suicide Squad, you know. Yeah. You know, obviously the... Captain America, you know, the Batman versus Superman. Uh, you know, X-Men Apocalypse is coming yes. out. Yes. So, what the hell are they thinking with Apocalypse, uh, Jay? Looking what? like Ivan Ooze with <laughs> some what fucking is... high school professor's fucking voice. Yeah. I don't understand at all what is going on with this movie. Like... It's Brian Singer too, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, it is. What the hell is? Going I do on? like that they show that he will be able to get bigger in size, like he does in the comics, where he can like just adjust his size to <laughs> dominate people. But yeah, his voice is in the comic. It was so. It just well, sounds I mean, so dominating and imposing, and can't really yeah. talk about his voice in the comic. Or the cartoon, you know what I'm talking yeah. about. But, <laughs> how, did, how did he sound in the comic, Jay? Yeah. Well, it still sounded better than in the fucking movie. <laughs> Jay's, like, Jay's like, oh, I'm apocalypse. <laughs> Reading it to himself. He would have sounded like Ma- Michael Clark Duncan, at least. <laughs> yeah, in, the ca- in that cartoon, he had such a great voice, you know? It was like, I mean, that was inspiring... I think in a lot of different ways about like you know what an awesome villain's supposed to sound like and and be like you know he had all these great like monologues that he would give in the cartoon you know I can remember like trying to do that voice trying to replicate that voice and trying to you know yeah. say saying those lines to myself you know yeah now now in the movie it's just just I don't know. Just there's nothing. There's <laughs> nothing a, imposing about it. I mean, it's like like here comes apocalypse. He's like, hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, so I'm gonna take over now. And uh, is that all right? I'm gonna fuck shit up. Follow me. You're on the four horsemen. <laughs> like these badass lines from like the comic and the cartoon, you know. Um, you know, there should be a new world forged in fire and blood and all kinds of He's like, there will be a new world forged in fire and blood. <laughs> People are like, is he talking to us? 
<laughs> it's like the one guy off of uh, Family Guy. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> There's gonna be fire, y'all. <laughs> the reason this movie's called Apocalypse isn't because of Apocalypse. It's called Apocalypse because it's the end. <laughs> like, oh. Uh, that was gonna be the last movie. No. At the end of this. At the end of this movie. Brian Singer hires somebody to kill him. <laughs> kill him too. <laughs> Taking the job one and way out. Oh man. Anyway. Okay, so yeah. What? Yeah, what, what was the question? <laughs> there wasn't really a question. It was just like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, so. I guess let's let's go to the Star Trek trailer we just saw recently uh, for Star Trek Beyond. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, they decided to go a different route with this preview, and the trailer featured the Beastie Boys, and that uh, was the best thing about the trailer. <clears throat> well, yeah, but. Probably I don't know. Okay, uh, I have nothing against the Beastie Boys, but you know I like uh, peanut butter and I like bubble gum, but I don't like peanut butter and bubble gum. You know what I'm saying? How about <laughs> peanut butter flavored bubble gum? That's that does not sound like it, something that should happen. Actually, it has happened actually already. Oh my god! On purpose. Or yes. like yes, on purpose. Oh. I don't know. I like the old blackjack bubble gum. That was good. What's that blackjack bubble gum? What's that? Tastes like black licorice. I don't know if I ever had that. It's good. It's good. Huh. Black licorice. I love black licorice. Man, yep. I know Manon likes black licorice. You're still talking about candy and not. <laughs> <laughs> right. like, was that a rapper? What are we? Ta- what are we talking about? Like music related or? It's a stripper. <laughs> black, black licorice. licorice. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you, you never seen black licorice? He's pretty cool. <laughs> He's sweet. No, I was. I was. <laughs> I was super excited for that trailer uh, with everything else going on, Star Wars coming out, and all these superhero movies, and then they're coming out with a Star Trek trailer, and I really liked the last two, and I wasn't a big fan of the show, Yeah. but I was like, yeah, okay, you know, I'm excited that this one's coming out. Last two were good, and then seeing the trailer, and it's, ah, fuck. (laughs) I think it was really jarring, because we've been accustomed to all these movies having these really dramatic trailers, you know, with the, you know, trying to really make everything epic, you know, really, like, awesome. And then it's like, with that movie, it was like they just said, we're not competing with them. We're just going to go do this other thing. It looked like the whole trailer was just them trying to pack in all the action scenes. Yeah, and, and Simon Pegg... Who I guess is also a co-writer for this movie. He's yeah, was it happy about the trailer? Yeah, he comes out and he's like, uh, "Give us a chance, people. This is not the best way this could have been done." <laughs> so, and that's pretty fucking bad when somebody that helped write the goddamn movie is not happy with the way that they decided to do the trailer. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So next question and. This is going to be a little different. We're going to take on a little different tone for the rest of these questions. All right? Yeah, so we're doing like that. <laughs> oh, yeah, just, for the rest of this show, we're all going to use a fake voice. I'm going to go with this. What do you got, man? <laughs> oh, hi, guys. <laughs> hi. She likes the excessive movies. She'd be pretty good. Uh, okay. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to list, uh, I'm going to give you the name of a movie that's coming out that you may not have even heard of, and you have to tell me what you think it's about. <laughs> so, okay. Who's, who's up? Who's up? Is it Jay's turn or Manna's turn? I have no fucking idea. All right, Jay, you ready? I yeah. Make it anyway. All right, here's a movie that's actually coming out this year you've probably never heard of. It's coming out in August. It's called Sausage Party. What's it about? Gay Pride Parade. 
A Pride Parade. All right, let's try to be creative, man. And what do you think Sausage Party's about? Uh, it's a historical piece about the invention of the Frankenfurter. Okay, that's actually possible. I don't have any idea what it's about. Um, you didn't do any research? I, had no, I told you I did no research for this show. Okay. Then how are we supposed to know if we're correct or not? We're not. <laughs> Google it. Yeah, go look it up, dude. Do I have to tell you everything? Jeez. Yeah, god damn it. But what am I, your mom? <laughs> well, Maybe. my mom would fucking know. <laughs> damn. All right. Uh, Manon. Yeah. What is what do you think this this movie's about? Name of the movie is Storks. <laughs> Storks. Yeah, it's coming out uh, September. What is it? Storks. Blah. Uh, it's a heist film where people dress up like storks. Heist film. Okay, that's possible. I guess. Yeah. What do you think, Jake? Uh, about. Sounds like a cartoon movie. Probably. Like, that's about, like, babies and shit. Something about, there. yeah, Stork loses a baby or something, and, you know, they have to go try to find it. Manon was kind of, like, off in, like, hypothetical land. We're trying to be, like, more like, what if this is a real movie? And it is a movie, so, yeah. And it is about Storks that deliver babies. Okay. Then. And yeah. it's a cartoon movie. Okay. So, all right. Uh, Jay. Yes. What is this movie about? Name of the movie is The Bye Bye Man. <laughs> mm, the Bye Bye Man. Oh, uh, fuck. I don't know. Uh, sounds retarded, but. <laughs> uh, it's B Y E B Y E, not B I B I. That would have been a whole different movie. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm saying it's something about uh, an assassin. <laughs> an assassin. The bye bye maze. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. He fucking kills him. Bye bye. What do you do for a living? I'm the bye bye man. What the fuck is a bye bye man? They, they pay me when they want to say bye bye to somebody. <laughs> And imagine like a dramatic, like a dramatic trailer for the. What do you think, man? Is that right? You think it's an assassin movie? I think it's a documentary about an assassin. Documentary about an assassin. <laughs> George. Bye -bye, man. George S. Smith was known as the Bye Bye Man in the Chicago crime families. <laughs> we called him when we needed to say bye bye. <laughs> We well, could never come up with a better name. <laughs> <laughs> We're gangsters. We're not geniuses. <laughs> Give me a break. <laughs> what do you want? You know, you could bust my balls here. <laughs> oh. All right. Who's... My mother busted my balls once. <laughs> Just once. once. You know what I? You know what I told my mother for busting my balls? I said, "Bye bye." <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, uh, who's next up? Um, is it Jay's turn? Or? Uh, I think it's Manon. Manon's turn. Okay. All right, Manon. Okay. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, which one to choose? Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Here's the movie. Mona. Well, uh, uh, it's actually, okay, I'll go there. It's a hardcore porn, but it's not what you think. It's about the real Mona Lisa. Oh, and it's a hardcore porn? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, she was filthy. I don't think that's getting a wide release. Oh, well, it's, it's <laughs> wide, all right. <laughs> wide release. That'd be a great name for a porn. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. 
do you like fat chicks? <laughs> <laughs> Do you like Who it with shit on you? <laughs> Wide release. <laughs> oh, that'd be like one of those fetish movies where they take a dump on you or something. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my God. <laughs> one girl, two cups. <laughs> what? what does that even mean? <laughs> one girl and... <laughs> Okay. Damn. God damn, a big ass bowl. <laughs> What'd she have for breakfast? <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> this movie is sponsored by Wheaties. <laughs> by Bush's Big Bean. <laughs> oh that fucking dog comes out. <laughs> oh my God, he's all traumatized. You alright, boy? Uh. <laughs> See, your finger left me right behind this door. Oh, fuck. <laughs> He's in the corner peeing himself. What the fuck? <laughs> and he runs out in front of a car. <laughs> arr, arr, arr. Fuck this shit. Oh, uh, that's horrible. These people are horrible. All right. <laughs> horrible. There's horrible. John Lennon and Brian Singer and then fucking Bush's baked beans dog. Do you have no respect? Man, there's a bunch of movies coming out that I didn't even realize are coming out like this year. This coming year. Assassin's Creed. Rogue One comes out in December. Finding Dory. Finding Dory, yeah. Is the Ghostbusters supposed to be out? Ghostbusters, yep. Yeah. Gambit. Tarzan. There's a Jumanji movie. A Jumanji movie? The Ninja Turtles 2. Yeah, Underworld oh, 5. Right. A new Underworld comes out? Oh, yeah. yeah. Zoolander 2. Zoolander 2. Yeah. Who gives yeah. a fuck? <laughs> Pete, Pete's Dragon? What? That's a porn. <laughs> no. no. You never oh, seen, no, no. You never seen Pete's Dragon? Like uh, the old one it was like Cartoon Dragon and the little kid or whatever? <laughs> Pete's Old Dragon. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's a totally different movie. That's a neighbor down the road. Pete and Drag? No. What? Yeah. Ow. All right. Well, there's a lot of movies coming out anyway. So, all right. <clears throat> anyway, so let's move past movies. I think uh, there's kinda... supposed to be another uh, Born uh, Jason Bourne movie too. Really? I didn't see that one on there. Of course, there's a lot of them. So, like... you ain't paying attention. Yeah. Dumbass. So you finally watched Star Wars, right? Yes, I did. All right, we can't talk too much about it because there will be problems if we do. People Why? will come to our house and murder us. Right. But Well, yeah, I can <laughs> see that happening nowadays, but considering no one listens to the show, I don't see it being a problem. Yeah, it probably won't be. Uh, <laughs> There's that. Like, how many viewers did the show get? Uh, viewers? Well, listeners. Listeners? <laughs> <laughs> well, there's three of us on. Does that count? Well, there was a bot in the chat room. Does that count? Chat room? <laughs> <laughs> we all gave ourselves good reviews. Yeah. <laughs> God, there's... Yeah, I was looking at future movie releases. There's already seven movies... Uh, that got reserved dates for 2018. Really? God dang. Yeah, and they're pretty fucking badass movies, too. What you, got, is, what? you got Black Panther, Aquaman, Avatar 3. It's supposed to be out by then. Wow. Uh, the Jurassic World sequel, The Avengers Affinity War, How to Train Your Dragon 3, and Fifty Shades of Grey... The Movie, another one. Ooh. Another one, really? Yeah, who gives a fuck? <laughs> uh, isn't the first one bad enough? Well, oh. considering they're talking about the uh, director is not supposed to be coming back. Uh, the guy that actually played the lead male character, I don't think is coming back. <laughs> so, I, bet that, I bet that movie doesn't even get made, or if it does, it goes like. Low, it's not like a big release movie, you know. Like, what do they do now? They don't do direct to DVD or anything. Like, like it's straight to Redbox or Netflix. Yeah, Netflix, I guess. It'll be like Netflix, uh, straight to net. Well, Netflix will probably be like, I don't know. 
Well, you have to... <laughs> uh, I don't know about this movie. Yeah, Netflix is actually putting out good shit. They might pass on it, too. They might. They might. It's on one of them fucking retarded little services they have out. Uh, you know, I don't know, Crackle or one of them, you know. nobody. Oh, likes. you mean like whenever they put out Joe Dirt, too? <laughs> like, that made Joe Dirt, the first one, look like fucking Schindler's List? <laughs> I don't know exactly what you mean by that. I think you mean that Schindler's List was a good movie. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, Schindler, Schindler's List was a good movie. Well, it was also horrifying. <laughs> yeah, but I'm just saying. So I was like, what do you mean by that? <laughs> I could go either way. Yeah, bye-bye, man. Bye-bye, <laughs> <laughs> man. That would be... <laughs> anyway... He's a he's a paid mercenary. He's also bisexual. <laughs> oh. That's how he kills him too. Huh? What? <laughs> <laughs> right in the ace. Oh no. Dude. It's getting worse. How'd all these guys worse. die? Eternal bleeding. James Bond gets all the women. <laughs> the bye bye man gets everyone. <laughs> Everyone oh, else. Everyone. <laughs> uh, he's the man for the next generation. Whatever. I don't know. <laughs> he ties people up like at the end of uh, Casino Royale. And <laughs> the rules have changed. <laughs> you can't do this. There are rules. And then he has like one-liners, you know. Not anymore, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Uh. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> bye bye, man. <laughs> he says everybody, bye bye, man. Uh, no. What do y'all think of that Warcraft movie? You know, I don't. I never played World of Warcraft. Like, did y'all really ever play that game, or know anybody that played that game? I played nope. it for a little while. Well, what's it like? Is it good or was it the game? Yeah. No. Eh. It's it's, it's pretty good for a massively multiplayer role player game, but I'm yeah. I'm not trying it's to boring. I'm not trying to like demean something that a lot of people are into. I mean, there's a lot of people that are like at least I don't know if they still are, but there's a lot of people that were really really into that game. Uh, Warcraft, you know. I think the movie looks pretty cool. I think it looks a little cartoonish, but I think it it could work. You know, I'm just be... waiting. I'm just waiting for the Candy Crush movie. <laughs> Candy Crush. <laughs> oh my God. Candy Crush, the movie, Bejeweled, the movie, Tetris. How did? How would you make a movie out of Candy Crush? Like, uh, you could just put them in that movie Pixels. Oh my God. That piece of shit. What happened with Adam Sandler? Like, I mean, I guess he was never really like a genius or anything, but it just seemed like he used to get he used to make decent, you know, comedy, and now it's like he he brings out this movie that came out straight to Netflix called The Ridiculous Six. Yeah, I've seen the preview for that. Yeah, and it's like obviously it's a play off of The Hateful Eight, you know, obviously. That's what they went for there. And everybody that's seen it's been like, this is a complete waste of time. You know? And I'm like, sheesh. How much money do you think he got paid for that? And see, well, Too much. Uh, who was it that they were doing an interview with? Damn it, it's one of his friends that have been in like almost every fucking movie with him. Oh, and well, I know oh, that they're right. Uh, Rob Schneider or Rob, well, I know that they also talked to Kevin James about it. Oh, yeah. and uh, he's like, yeah, he's like, of course, you know, he's everybody's bitching about these movies that he's putting out that they're turds and all that shit. And why does he keep putting them out? He's like, because whether whether or not they're good, it doesn't matter. He's still making thirty, forty million bucks <laughs> for making these fucking movies. So why not put out a turd? And people what are still going to go watch it anyways. What is he doing with that money? <laughs> you know, like no, I don't no. think he, I, I don't think, I don't think he, he should have it. 
<laughs> you know, like I mean, you see, he walks around wearing like uh, garage sale clothes, and I don't, I don't know what he does with the money. I mean, maybe he's make, maybe he's investing in other things or something. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> Well, the he, way needs to go to, he needs to go to directing classes. And uh, well, get somebody else to write the fucking movies for him. Yeah, I don't know. Who knows? Does he write the movies? I don't think so. I don't. I can't imagine him writing too much. But who yeah. knows? Who knows? I have no idea. I mean, I have nothing against Adam Sandler. I'm just. <clears throat> well, whatever he was doing with Happy Gilmore and the Water Boy. Yeah, big daddy Just shit like that. Yeah, he needs to go back to whatever he was doing then, and stay the fuck away from what he's doing now. The Wedding Singer, those were funny movies, right? Those were those were good. And then yeah. like, what the hell? What happened? Like, did you ever see Little Nicky? Yeah, I loved Little Nicky. Right. What the hell? What happened? I don't know. I like Beefy the Bulldog. That was fucking funny. We got another Ninja Turtle movie coming out. Y'all were talking about that. And uh, it kind of... I, I still haven't gotten over this. the first Ninja Turtle movie. Like, I haven't... Whoa, I haven't seen it. Oh, oh, Shut I, up, you dipshit. I'm not trying to start a fight. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't insult the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, or maybe it was that I brought them up, and it was like, oh. but uh, so, how many Ninja Turtle movies do you think Michael Bay is gonna churn out? You know, I mean, is there any hope that they'll be any worth anything? I mean, as you have y'all seen the first movie? Nah. Did you see it, Jay? The first Ninja Turtle. I got movie? it on my queue on Netflix, but I haven't watched it yet. I haven't seen it either. You know, and I don't know. I I, I don't want to be too harsh, right? It seems like we do a whole lot of prejudgment because of what our experiences have been like with, you know, you look at Michael Bay and, and what he's done and you kind of go, well, is this going to be anything different? It looks like it's the same thing that I've seen. You know, there's like all these shots of the city and it's being attacked and, and all this like sh the stuff, it, it could be from slow-mo. <laughs> yeah, like if you didn't know it was Ninja Turtles and somebody said that's Transformers, you'd just be like, okay, because it all looks exactly the same. Well, so, I, I never bitch whenever you see uh, Megan Fox in a little skimpy shirt and shit, so... Well... Okay. That he can keep putting in his movies and I'll be fine with it, but... Right. That's just, that's just me, personally. I wonder what happened with them, where they made up. I wonder how that went. Like, you know... <laughs> what, what went down there, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> or who went down there? Well... <laughs> oh. Hey, bye-bye, hey, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you want to be in the Ninja Turtles, huh? <laughs> How sorry are you about what you said about me? Don't tell me. Talking to the mic. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, anyway... Just a couple so, yeah. more inches to forgive us. Yeah. All right. So lots of uh, lots of movies, lots of thoughts about the movies that are coming out. But you know, like I said, we did have a good end uh, to this year for movies, so that was good. <sighs> and we'll see how next year goes. Well, guys, I'm uh, running out of stuff to talk about. Y'all got anything you want to throw out there? Or? Uh. Porn. Who's watching it? <laughs> okay. I guess that'd just be me. Uh. <laughs> like while we're doing the show, just sitting there chilling out. <laughs> what is that noise, Jay? <laughs> What's going on? Don't worry about that noise. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> I put lotion in my basket. <laughs> 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 what was that? One, what was that one movie? We're having a sausage party. <laughs> <laughs> With the sausage in the basket. <laughs> With the sausage in the basket. Oh, oh! 
that's a that's where the storks come out. <laughs> These movies are all related. Oh no! The storks, <laughs> the storks are taking the sausage party to the bye bye making. <laughs> this is the new Marvel Cinematic Universe. <laughs> And with all the Fifty Shades of Grey movie coming out, and, oh. oh god! <sighs> okay, so uh, I guess that's probably going to go ahead and end this third show. I don't know how long it was, but uh, hopefully, y'all have enjoyed it or at least struggled through it with us. Next week, more talented people than me will be hosting the show. At least more organized people. And, oh, uh, well, I don't know because of the holiday. Oh, not. oh, yeah, we might not. I'm not sure if we're doing a show next week, but we'll we'll keep it uh, posted on uh, epicallygeeky.com. You can check and see what's going on with the show, with the website, and we're continuing to build this new, you know, evil empire. empire. Right. Uh, all uh, underneath the uh, supreme leader Eugene, <laughs> <laughs> and. Uh, you know, this and I'm going to develop my own podcast. You know, Jaylee's weekly words of wisdom. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't <laughs> see anybody. Please take it with a grain of salt. <laughs> Jay's weekly word of wisdom. It's literally one word. <laughs> <laughs> I get on there. I say one word, and it's, then like it's over. Bananas. <laughs> They're good for you. <laughs> Have a good day. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> uh, you can leave donations. Uh, you know, <laughs> manscaping. Don't do like it drunk. Subscribe. Oh, don't, don't do it drunk. <laughs> All right. Well, let's wrap it up. Uh, this is the epically geeky show. This is show number three. Although I don't know if this really is going to fit into the uh, canon, canon or whatever the. <laughs> it will be like Timothy Zond out, where they, they won't recognize this show as part of the uh, next. The next one that actually goes out will be number three. This one, <laughs> like it didn't happen. Uh, three A, or three continuity. B, <laughs> which it may not have happened. I don't know if it's recording or not. We'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thanks guys for being on. Jay, I appreciate it, and Manon, you know, uh, thanks. <laughs> It was expected. Yeah. We had, we had. A, I, I think it was all right. I think we did okay. We made it through, right? We let's, muddled through. Can we can we pat ourselves on the back, or is that not? Let's not do that, right? Oh yeah, I'm patting myself. Oh okay. Uh, all right. Until uh, next time, <laughs> we'll uh, see y'all later. And this has been the show, and that's it. I'm sorry, and we are gone. Bye bye, man. Bye bye. bye. <laughs>